Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So I was actually not planning on filming today. Um, so this is very spur of the moment, but I actually just got back from thrifting. I went to a couple places with some friends with some friends and I just happened to find some amazing stuff. And I figured I would just show it all to you and do a very spur of the moment thrift haul because I found a ton of very cottage core English country themed items, like a lot of really good stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a big thrift haul for you guys. So there will be no thrifting portion in this video. It's just a giant thrift haul, but I think that's kind of fun to watch too. So let's get into it. Okay, I will start with the two books that I got. I just got two books. They're both cute. Um, the first one is the Encyclopedia of Flowers. And I loved the pretty purplish color that the cover had. Um, and it's just an encyclopedia of flowers. It looks like it's from like the 80s or something. Um, and it was, the stickers rubbed off, but I think it was like a dollar at Goodwill. Um, and it just has like, you know, pictures of flowers, how to grow them, things like that. I always like gardening books because we're really into gardening. And then this one was also just pretty. Um, and then the other book that I got, which was $5 at Goodwill, but I'm not sure they actually charged me that. The cover is really ripped off. I wish it wasn't because it's so cute. The Primer of American Antiques. So cute. I love books about antiques and things like that. Um, but it gives you just basically a lot of information about antiques that you might find here and there. Um, like details about furniture, ironwork, um, all of that. I sometimes read these books, sometimes not. I honestly should, because it would make me a more informed thrifter and antique buyer, so I might. Um, but I just thought it was really cute. And I'm gonna try and keep the cover on it. Hopefully it won't completely disintegrate. So those are the two books that I got. I got one basket, um, which is this. And mostly I liked it because of the little red um, cover that it had on the inside. Uh, my issue with it, ugh, I think it almost just gave me a splinter. I don't think it did. Um, it's a little bit like misshapen, but I kind of don't care. I still think it's really cute and it's great for fall. Like this is part of fall decor. I think it's perfect. So that's why I got this guy. And this was from, it was $2 from a thrift store um, that I've actually never been to before. It was the first time going to that thrift store and I found a lot of really good stuff there. So I'll show you the rest of it in a minute. Um, this straw hat from Goodwill. You guys know I love using these as decor. I thought this one was cute and I actually liked the little bow on it. Um, perfect for hanging on a wall, using as decor, kind of wherever. So very cute. Um, I think it was like 50 cents. It doesn't have a price tag on it and I can't really remember. Um, then I'm trying to think if there's anything else I got at Goodwill. I think the rest of everything I got at that new thrift store that I went to for the first time. So I'll get into that stuff. First thing is this bowl um, and it's this like metal. I'm like so bad with remembering names of things. I know there's a name for this type of bowl that's like this thick metal like this, um, but this was $5 and I just love the bows. Like how cute is that with the bows? I think it might be supposedly supposed to be Christmassy. I think maybe that's like holly berries. Um, really cute for five bucks perfect for Christmas or really any time of year because I don't think you can kind of tell that it's specifically Christmas but I liked that guy a lot um then another very fall cottage core item is this turkey platter I've been looking for a turkey platter for so long and I see them a lot but I don't always like them sometimes they're too flamboyant and this one was kind of the perfect faded worn out toned down Platter. It's not too huge either. Um, and this was from that new thrift store and now it doesn't have a price on it. I want to say it was like $3. They had pretty good prices there. It also does not have a stamp on the back, um, which I usually tend to look for. So I'm not sure exactly like what brand of China or stoneware it is, but it's obviously antique and I do love it a lot. So I got that guy. Then staying on the theme of dishes, this was also from that new antique store. This was $6.99, which is a little bit more expensive, but considering what it is, I think it was a good price. So it's this antique ironstone terrine. I love how like thin and flat it is. 
Um, great shape, no staining or anything. It has the little top still on the finial or whatever. I mean, this isn't really a finial. This is more of like an actual handle, but a lot of times you'll see them broken off. This is still intact and this is Haviland China. It's French. You can see on the back and this was $6. And I love these. I mean, I collect, like I actually collect these. So this was a really fun find. Um, and I just think it's beautiful. So that, then also China, this pitcher, I washed it out so water just dropped out of it. Um, this is Laughlin, Homer Laughlin, and it was $3 and it's just a pitcher. So cute for flowers, for serving. It has this really delicate little floral pattern around the edge. Really, really pretty. Also in good shape. Um, no chips or anything like that. And the handle's also really beautiful. So this was a super fun find. Whenever I find stuff like this, I just like have to get it. I'm addicted to white to ironstone in China. Um, okay, what else? This is kind of random and I'm not like I don't know. I just liked it because it had an apple. It's like the top of a butter dish. And I wasn't too worried about the fact that I couldn't find the bottom. Sorry, the light's really weird. It's like being blown out. Um, because I think I have a bottom already at home that'll work. But I'm just like a sucker for anything that has like a little fruit thing on it. So got that guy. I want to say it was like a dollar. It might have even been 50 cents. Um, what else? I got this teacup. This was $1.99, also from that antique store. It is Morning Glory uh, Wedgwood, and the stamp on the bottom, you can kind of see. This is made in England. Morning Glory must be the name of, like, the, the like, set that it's from. But I really liked the handle, and then the saucer I thought was super cute, too. So, really liked that little guy. Got that. Um, what else? Okay, these are kind of funny. So I got these, which are like, don't actually know what they were originally intended to be, like wooden flowers or something. But I thought they would be adorable in a garden, writing the name of the plant and then basically using them as like gardening label sticks. So I think that's what I'm gonna use them for. Each one was 50 cents um, and I got five of them. So cute. Very kind of like random and weird, but I thought it was a cute thing to get. Um, I got a hat, another beret. I got one in the last video too. And I was like, should I get it? But the color is just so good that I was like, I think I have to get it. I'm obsessed with this color. It's like a periwinkle lilac color. Love that. It was like 50 cents also from that new thrift store. Oh, and I did get one other book that my friend Liv found. And I just really liked the colors of it. Um, now I lay me down to sleep. Yeah. And I just really liked the, I have no idea what it's about. It's just an old book and I really like the cover. So there was that, um, which I think was also, I want to say it was 50 cents. Um, then just a few more things. I got this little bow hanging thing, which like, this really has no purpose other than that it's cute and adorable and it's like an iron bow. It was $2 and I just think it's adorable. There's really no function for it. I just like it. Um, and then last but not least, um, I thrifted, actually, I have a couple more things. I thrifted this little cup, which is very fall. This like pattern, I thrifted something like this similarly in my last video too. And this reads like very camp fall to me um this was actually i think from goodwill and it was like a dollar um and then the last thing is this wool blanket i'm not going to unwrap it because the dust is going to fly everywhere but i love a good wool blanket for fall decor um and this is literally perfect so i'll probably unwrap it throw it in the wash and then put it over a chair or an ottoman or something like that and it really gives you a great fall feeling so very excited about this guy. Um, I'm always looking for plaids and things like that in the fall. So I'm very excited. Yeah, so that is the end of my random thrift haul. I just wanted to show all this stuff to you guys because I figured I found some amazing stuff and I just had to share it. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. If you liked the video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Instagram at It's Margot Roth. 
and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!